Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we find the support forces necessary to hold a Y reducer in place. I hope you find it informative. A horizontal Y fitting splits the incoming flow into two equal streams. We will assume that all internal hydraulic losses are negligible. Let's define our coordinate system. We should reiterate that this is a horizontal Y. The direction of gravity is in the Z direction, which is orthogonal to the X and Y directions. There will be no external gravity forces. Next, we add labels. The inflow port is labeled Alpha. The outflow ports are labeled Bravo and Charlie. The diameter at position Alpha is 6 inches. At Bravo, it is 3 inches. And at Charlie, it is 4 inches. The angles from the vertical are shown. Port Bravo is 30 degrees from the vertical, and Port Charlie is 50 degrees from the vertical. We will define our control volume as the physical boundaries of the Y, including the water inside. Now let's add the unit outlet normal vectors at the three control surfaces Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. The pressure and flow rate at Alpha is provided. The pressure at Alpha is 25 psi gauge. The incoming flow rate is 5 cubic feet per second. We need to define our reaction force. We assume that it's acting as shown, with force components Rx and Ry acting in the negative x and y directions respectively. Recall that these are just guesses on directions. A positive result indicates the initial guess is valid. A negative result indicates the actual direction is opposite to the guessed direction. Next, we calculate the areas for positions Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. We will also need the velocities at ports Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. The directions are as indicated in the drawing. The pressure at alpha is provided. We need to calculate the pressures at points Bravo and Charlie. Since we are ignoring all internal hydraulic losses, we can utilize Bernoulli's equation from point alpha to Bravo and then from point alpha to Charlie. Since it is a horizontal Y, the elevations for locations alpha, Bravo, and Charlie are the same. We apply Bernoulli's equation from point alpha to Bravo and solve for the pressure at Bravo in pounds per square inch gauge. In a like manner, we solve for the pressure at point Charlie in pounds per square inch gauge. Now let's use the Reynolds Transport Theorem to solve for the supporting forces on the horizontal Y. Conservation of momentum is the tool that we need. It is provided here for steady state conditions in vector form. Let's break the vector equation down into the component directions x and y. Let's start with the x direction with the first step identifying the external forces in the x direction. We have a pressure force acting at alpha in the positive x direction. The pressure force at Bravo has components in the negative x direction and the negative y direction. Since we are currently only solving for the x direction, we only include the x component of that pressure force. Similarly, the x component of the pressure force at Charlie acts in the negative x direction. In grading homeworks and exams, it is clear that some students believe that the directions of these external pressure forces can just be assumed or guessed. This is incorrect. It is important to identify the correct directions for these external pressure forces. Finally, as discussed previously, we have assumed that the unknown x component of the reaction force, Rx, is acting in the negative x direction. Now let's break down the surface tentacles at surfaces Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, starting with surface Alpha. The x component of velocity at Alpha is the full velocity previously calculated, Va, in the positive x direction. The angle between the unit normal vector and the velocity vector at alpha is 180 degrees, returning a negative sign. The surface integral at alpha is equal to minus the density times Va squared times the area. Now we do the same for the surface integral at Bravo. The velocity at Bravo has a positive x component of velocity. The dot product between the velocity vector and the unit normal returns a positive value a common error is that students will take the dot product of the x component of the velocity at Bravo with the unit normal. This is incorrect. The surface integral at Charlie is very similar to the previous for Bravo. Now we bring all the components together. 
The only unknown is the X component of the reaction force, Rx. Now we substitute in the values and units. This is the most error-prone step. Note that since the water density is in pounds mass per cubic feet, we need to use the gravitational constant g sub c. I have another instructional snippet that reviews the origin and use of this constant. The reaction force in the x direction is determined to be 269 pounds force. The calculated answer is positive, which indicates that the assumed direction was correct. The x component of the reaction force is acting in the negative x direction. Now let's repeat the process for the y direction. Surface alpha has no y component velocity or pressure force. The y component of the pressure force at surface Bravo is acting in the negative y direction. The y component of the pressure force at surface Charlie is acting in the positive y direction. We have assumed that the y component of the reaction force, Ry, is acting in the negative y direction. The sum of the external forces in the y direction is provided. Again, at surface alpha, there is no y component of the velocity. We will move on to the surface integral at Bravo. The y component of velocity is in the positive y direction. The flow at Bravo is an outflow, so the dot product returns a positive value. Now let's look at surface Charlie. The y component of velocity is in the negative y direction. Surface Charlie is an outflow, so the dot product returns a positive sign. Bringing it all together and solving for the y component of the reaction force results in a value of minus 5 pounds force. Note that the minus sign indicates that the assumed direction for Ry was incorrect. The answer is that the y component of the reaction force is acting in the positive y direction. This instructional video is already quite long, so I skipped the details of the units and unit conversions and the use of the gravitational constant g sub c. The skip steps are similar to the steps shown in detail for the x direction. That said, this is a bad approach. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.